So this is via a review code provided for me. And just for the purposes of this video, just mentioning that at time of recording anyway, it's out tomorrow in early access. It is a spaceship themed deck builder, is my understanding. And this is the early access build. Ironically, I've been given early access to it. And we're going to enable prologue so that we're taught how to play. And hopefully the volume is okay. I'm going to turn it down a smidge. The menu music was quiet originally, so I thought it wouldn't need adjusting. But let's just bring it down 69. That sounds about right. New run. Let's give it a go. See what happens. A sudden jolt awakens you as you hear a distinct beeping of doors opening. That's oh, the Halo intro. As reality creeps back in, you slowly recognise your surroundings, the cramped confines of your quarters on the Atlas. <coughs> Lena, Len, Lena Starling? Yeah. Captain wants to see you in the command deck, and he's agitated and you look groggy as hell. Okie dokie. Our infrared sensors detected a large explosion in Solari space right where one of their research stations is located. Whatever they're up to, it looks like it didn't go as planned. Why was I in sleep and they weren't? Oh right, there. this might be our chance to... This might be our big break then. Okay, we're going to steal some stuff, I see. We're closer to the station than any of the Solari fleets in the system. We can't risk approaching with the Atlas, however, as we would be picked up by the fleet scanners and we'd be done for. But we can send the magpie. Okay. I, I did say meat, but not sumptuous meat. That comes later. Hello, Billy. Okay, so we're going to be on a time limit. Got it. This is the ship status screen. You can view statistics such as number and type of hard points, starting equipment and crew. Each piece of equipment contains a few starting cards and has capacity to add more cards as you play. Hello, Jack. Equipment requires assigned crew members to function. So we have a launch bay. Oh, it's actually moving. If you want a better look at your ship, you can orbit the camera while keeping the left mouse button pressed. Whoop. Looks like the sub that blew up going to the Titanic. So we've got a laser cutter which gives us three slices, a basic shield which gives us three blocks, and engineering which gives us target lock. Okay. And that's per turn energy, I presume. Let's see what happens. Whee! 12 and a half points I laid out, and we should be there in two days. We just... We just stick to the asteroid belt as much as we can to avoid detection. Okay. Okay, so is this us then? Are we Ivan Branko? Why does that name sound familiar? So where are we? Is that us? Waypoint neutral, unknown. Station wreckage, unknown. What? Okay, your console flashes a warning indicating combat near your flight path. Not long after, the infrared sensors flare as a ship explodes. Okay. Combat tutorial, here we go. I've got a sneaking suspicion it will be like your standard Slave Aspire fair card playing wise. This is your hand of cards, displaying the actions you can take each turn. Each card requires resources, shown as the number in the lower part of the card. Two, three, three. How much do we have? Six plus four. The coloured number next to the icon is your energy, so six. The white number shows your energy income at the start. Oh, so we start with more than we're going to have, I see. Resources carry over between turns. Enemy equipment is based on their, or enemy actions rather, are based on their equipment. Each piece of equipment has a card slot indicating the next action. Cards gain one pip each turn. When the pips are filled, the card's border turns white, signaling that it will be played on the next turn. So they're not doing anything turn one then, because this needs two pips minimum, if I'm understanding this correctly. Hello, girl. You play cards by dragging and dropping them over the crosshair region. 
attack. You got hit for four. You got hit for four. I'm not going to play. Oh, there's no point to play the defense because he's not playing it this turn. That's going to tick up to be ready. Yeah. Shields are your primary defense with each shield point blocking one damage. Shields have at the start of the turn to deploy shield cards just before an enemy attack to maximize effectiveness. Oh, it retained my hand then, did it? The enemy ship is about to attack, play a block. After playing a card, it moves to your cooldown pile. Cooldown duration is indicated by the number next to the clock on the card. Uh, once off cooldown, it returns to your draw pile. Press tab. Oh, there we are. Oh, here we go. There's, there's the symbol that we're talking about. Okay. So am I not allowed to? Oh, I only have two energy, so best I could play this. Deal plus one damage. And it has upkeep. Presumably doesn't want me to do that this turn, so we'll just wait. Resistant effect. Ah, oh, yeah, here we are. Some effects last for a set amount of turns, while others have upkeep. Yep. Yeah. Play at least one. Oh, so yeah. As long as you play an attack per turn, it will stay up. Take this. Five damage. And nothing else. He has five health left. Ah, but he did four shield now. And he's going to fire at me. Well, we'll block, and we'll hit him so that we keep the upkeep up. Enemy shields down. Oh, there's voice. <laughs> I think I've got you now. Yep. Kaboom! We gain 25... something. Gold, I'm presuming, for shops. Currency for shop. That's what it looks like to me, anyway. The area is starting to be pretty lively. We should expect more combat on our approach to the station. Alrighty. Override the cutter safety protocols. We need more firepower. So we're going to have ordnance protocol. Okay. You now have access to ordnance. Ordnance is the main resource for attacks. Open your ship's status screen. Oh yeah, okay. Left click on Ordnance. You can redistribute reactor power between your resources at any time. Right click on Energy twice to remove two points from it. Left click twice to add Ordnance. Your power distribution should be as indicated. Yeah. I don't really understand what the ordnance does though. They made it sound like it's your attacks do more damage. <clears throat> Pirates! Ah, they've got a one per turn. You can redistribute reactor power any time in combat. Right click on a resource type to remove one unit and left click to add. Adding one power to a resource generates one heat. Heat changes take place after playing the next card. Okay. Ships have a heat resistance and dissipation value. Resistance is the amount of heat a ship can safely sustain before overheating. Three in this case, presumably. Dissipation is the amount of heat removed at the end of each turn, which is like Mech Warrior. Every point over overheat deals one hull damage at the start of your turn. It is it's very like uh, mech warrior, well, battle tech specifically. So you're gonna be attacking for four damage with precision, which means you can target my equipment. We have. Oh, this needs three and two. I see. So that would leave him with two, so I can still block, but then I can't do target lock. That's acceptable. So we added a little bit to his heat there. He's going to shoot us for four, but we're going to block, what, two of it? Oh no, four of it. Oh, he's got a big attack coming in three turns. Precision attacks. Cards with that symbol 
are precision attacks that let you target specific enemy equipment. Drag and drop these over the enemy equipment or a card on the UI. We want, yeah, we want to break this part. Each piece of enemy equipment has durability. Yep, when it hits zero, they break. It's automatically repaired in three turns. Oh, okay, we need to wait a turn now. I probably should have done precision first in hindsight because that only needs... Can I undo my turn? I don't think I can. You can right click to discard unwanted cards, freeing up the slot. Ah, okay. Okay, so now I don't need to, but I might as well. So now it's busted for three turns, and he's not attacking me, so I don't need to waste any power. Okay. And now he has four shield. And this is doing what, seven? I'm gonna set him on fire. Enemy shields down. Oh, I could only do the one. Next turn, next turn. Bye. Click on the subsystem to add it to your cargo bay. Sure, we have an infrared emitter. We should hook up the mass refiner module to the reactor. It's crucial for improving our reactor's power output and strengthening the magpie's shield system. Sure. Alright, teach me how to install the subsystem. That's the upgrade icon. That upgraded our mass. You now have access to the mass resource used for upgrades and repairs. Add your upgraded power unit to the mass by left clicking. Subsystems enhance compatible, rather, can't read. Equipment and their cards with various effects. Drag and drop the subsystem from the cargo bay on your modified cutter. So it would go here. Hang on, what is it doing first? Any attack from this weapon that deals hull damage increases heat. Sure. So this is the station that got destroyed. Judging by the electromagnetic emissions, there should be some functional equipment we can salvage in that section over there. Look at these fluctuations in those infrared readings. I'll bet you a week's rations that there's a ship lying in wait to spring an ambush. Circle around and attack, we get extra damage. Yes. So there's traits on the pilots as well to make stuff happen. Crew members have abilities you can activate during combat. To inspect the crew, hover over the crew's portraits. Abilities don't use regular resources, they cost command points and have a cooldown after use. Next attack is plus 50 damage. Next shield card is plus 50% shield. Gain two of each resource. Damn. Oh, he's got a missile. And he's attacking with both this turn, huh? What is this? Any attack from this? Okay, yeah. So we're probably going to want double shield then. Because that's going to gain six and he's hitting us for eight. So now we're covered from damage. We still have five and two. Uh, we could just blast him. Yeah, let's just blast him. Oh, I don't have enough to do the... Well, we can still just blast him, though. Enemy shields down. No, oh, there's a bot in chat. If someone wants to batter it to oblivion. Incoming enemy missile. You can track missiles in the lower left part of the screen. Oh, down there. Missiles have a delay of one or more turns before they hit. You can defend against... Oh, if I'd known it was going to be delayed, I wouldn't have done a big shield. You can defend against missiles by playing shield cards or shooting them down with special missile defense cards. Well, I don't have that, so we ain't doing that. We're going to take some damage here. Did yourself a target locked, Sunny Jim. Might as well do some precision as well. Yeah, 
Yeah, we're going to take damage now because I didn't realise that. So the missile is delayed, so he's only doing four. But I really want to hit him. I'm going to have to do this for both. Yeah, there we go. He's overheating. Is he still going to fire even though he's overheated? I guess we'll find out. Yes. So he should take some more hull damage now, right? I don't think he did. You're, okay, there we go. Yeah, now, now he is. I'm going to take a little bit of damage as a result, but... Because he's hitting for, what, four and... yeah. But he's going to explode. Oops. Oh no, he lived on one! Oh wait, he's firing a missile, it's fine. Oh, and the overheat killed him anyway. Huzzah! After some encounters, you can uh, draft cards to add to your any piece of equipment. Catalyst Pulse. Deal 4 damage. All Pulse cards played this turn are plus 1. Raise shield. If you don't have shields, add 12. Ooh. Gain 1 shield every time you play a laser or ion attack. That's like a power card. I'm going to take the raise shield. In that. Basic Missile Rack. Yoink! Morale determines the rate at which your command points recharge upon entering a node. Okie dokie, so we're getting two back. <clears throat> we found the black box for the station that got bloated up. Crew quickly work to retrieve the black box and fill the magpie's cargo bay with any valuable salvage they can find. Drag the equipment from the cargo bay and drop it in the appropriate empty hard point, which is there, I guess. This will add one extra card slot and the cards from that equipment to your deck while in combat. Oh, mount there, right? No, it does want it on the launch. Don't we need the launch bay? Okay. Ho ho ho, now I have a missile. Oh, we're going to have to go around this dangerous way. That's what's happening here. Okay, we're fine. Keep your burn minimal and maintain a low profile until you're clear. Okay. We're going right to there. There are two paths in Breachway. Main path shown in a blue line are, allows only forward movement. Secondary paths marked by thin yellow lines permit both forward and backwards movement. And they cost fuel. Disliked. I'm sure that's fine. Intercepted a distress call. A civilian transport is under attack by a dead weight raider. Okay, so one wants us to save them. Okay, so this is not us. This is just another crewman. We're the unseen captain. So, let's see. Distract the pirates and save the civilians. We get morale, but we're... At a disadvantage, wait until the weapons are fully charged before engaging for combat advantage. Yeah, let's do that. I think the civilians exploded, but that's not my problem. Little Serenity. Flak weapons. It inflicts random damage, 3 to 7. That's all nasty. No damage from Flak is equal to or higher than the attack shredding value. Okay, each shred stacks. Oh, so the more you get shredded, the more damage you've done. It, it does, rather. Shred decreases if it's not reapplied, so hopefully shield blocks that as well then. I was only doing four this first turn, though. So we can fire this just for some easy damage. Let's do some damage to your cannon. Dead weight, who is he, Nero? Nero got promoted to Dante. I use that, I still have two energy left over so I can do block and the block will cover it, so sure. 
This isn't precision, but it's okay. He's also overheating now. Now comes the nasty flak barrage, and I have what? One shield? Yeah, because I have. So oh, I could raise shield. No, I can't. I don't have enough power. I can get two of every resource, though. And then I can do that. Oh no, but I have shield, though, so it's not going to give me 12. Otherwise, I had six. That ain't worth it. Let's just crack out that. Seven shield. Good enough. And fire a missile. It's not got precision, so it's just fire a missile. Whoop. But when it hits, it's going to do good. And that is good enough for this turn. Hello, Daniel. And hello, Kitty, on the other side, where there's a cat in a box. Kaboom! I can take out his flat cannon this turn. No, I can't, because I don't have a bog standard attack. Bugger. Well, take that. Take this. Take that. And kaboom. This is precision, so I can take out the flat cannon. No, flat cannon. There we go. So now he's not attacking this turn. I should have target locked first. Yeah, this is why I need an undo if I realize I've done things in the wrong order. Oh well. We don't have any attacks this turn, and he is hitting for four. I kind of wish I didn't have any shield. We could have just given ourselves 12. Eh, we'll just make sure it does no damage. Oh, I forgot you can discard cards. I should have discarded target lock. We don't need it. Deal 6 damage. Not good enough. Let's do that. Oh, I don't have enough. Hang on, can I do target lock for first? Yes, I can. Yeah. Add a card. Do two damage three times. Deplete. Remove from the battle once played. That's pretty cool. I'll take that. PDC burst. That's got to be anti missile or something, right? Point defense system. Point defense cannon. Okay. You salvage from the enemy. It's a type of auxiliary mount providing effective defense against enemy missiles. Neat. Although that's another card slot, isn't it? Our hand is going to get messy. Repair station? That won't really be required. We're, well, actually, yeah, it is kind of. Good enough. The gunship is getting ready to fire. They must have some stealth tech. Hmm. Deadweight captain. I mean, that, that's pretty mean. He might be good at his job. Hand over the data core you've got in your hold, and you'll fly away unscathed. Engage protocols, we make our stand! That's a big fancy looking ship, it's even got some kind of wang. Oh, he has four different things, huh? Okay, let's look at this. He's doing between two to five damage, and destroys the closest enemy missile. Damn. Next turn, he's doing a ton of stuff! I do this now, that means... How much does shield degrade by per turn? Have, so that would mean we start the next turn with 6. I want quite a big turn here. Can I play you to get 2 of every resource? I can. Let's do that. Okay. Loads of shield. Now shielded. And then we're going to... He's not firing a missile this turn, no. Set him on fire a little bit. He has so much health, good grief. What's easiest to break here? I guess his taking aim. Yeah, so he's going to launch the missile and do 4 damage. Or oh, 5 damage, because this is going to apply, right? And this fires every turn, so actually it's, my missiles are useless against him. If missile incoming, destroy one missile, else deal two damage, no VFX. <laughs> they haven't got... Okay, there's no visual effects for this yet. 
I presume no, I presumably play this next turn. I don't play it now. Um That's gonna have to do it for this turn. What is this resource again? Mass. I don't fully understand what I should be using that for. Incoming missile. Oh, it changed. Predictive aim. Your next flank attack this turn deals max damage. Oof. Which is I'm okay. can't do the block and the missile defense. The missile is doing way too much damage to ignore, unfortunately. That would be 7, that would be 13 damage. Is he double? That would be 12. I could... Uh, yeah, let's do that. Let's, we'll only take one damage. Wait, I, I thought I did my mask correctly, wasn't that? Oh, it's not double, it's plus 50%. Well, that's still okay. It's, I mean, there's no point firing the missile, right? Because he's just going to shoot it down. Ah, whatever. Missile is in flight. Took a little bit of damage. So even one that hits multiple times is still just going to get shot down, right? Oh wait, it's changed. It's doing a light barrage this time. Oh yeah, this uses one mass as well. <clears throat> hey, my missile hit! Okay, so I've just got to watch for what he's actually doing. I thought he was defending against missiles every single turn. Speaking of which, we need to do that. And then I have nothing else. I might as well just deal three damage to him, I suppose. Oh, oh blind? Enemy attacks deal minus one damage for three turns. Oof. Oh, wait, can I use you? No. We're at zero for our command points. Which I just realized. Oh no, you can just about see them past my shoulder. So, he is doing. He's launching a missile and he's hitting for a lot of damage. Best I can do six shield and not much else. That's all I can do. Incoming missile. True. I probably should have discarded a block there. That's true, it is. So this ain't working for two turns. There's no missile in there, so he's launching a missile. He's hitting for two to five damage. Incoming. Yeah, there was something about transferring to another thing. I don't remember how to do it, though. Missile plus four damage, so ten is coming in. I wish I could use these. At best we can block six, which is the missile, and then the laser gets through. And that's all I can do the turn. So I'm gonna discard that. We don't need two of them if I can barely play one. <clears throat> Wait, what? Oh, because I'm going to lose, they're they're giving me plot armor, I think. Okay, thanks. Let's take something that makes use of that resource we're not using a lot of.
I think I could have taken that fight, honestly. <clears throat> Had them right where I wanted them. Complete the tutorial! Introduced a lot of different characters. Perk unlocks start with 40 of the currency. Now this is a different ship. This is the one that was on the title screen. A well-rounded ship that strikes a balance between offence and defence. Next. Marauder. Reach the first... Assist. Oh, right, it's not unlocked. Neat. How is it that all these ships look better than the average Starfield ship? Alright, so this is our, our basic bitch ship, basically. That'll do nicely. Hello, Prem. Hello, Armred. So much reading, I wouldn't know. I don't know how to read. Most map nodes are under the control of one of the game's factions. Events in these nodes are influenced by your standing with them. Okay. Faction relations are grouped as followed, hated, disliked, neutral, allied. A group of Starkin gunships in our path. That's there? No. Not sure where. I don't see the green their green logo anywhere. Unless it's literally right here. Oh, it is. Alright, so we're going to have to take a route round or something. Oh no, we have to visit them. Only a security drone has noticed our approach. It's heading our way. Alright, we're fighting a security drone. I'm doing it now? No, I'm just guessing. Alright, so this is a, an easy fight. So what is this? Gain one energy for every two you spend this turn. Yes. Let's zap his gun. Oh, what is this? No, nothing. Oh, we started with a catalyst. Catalyst pulse this time. Deal four damage, ignore shields. All pulse cards played this turn deal plus one damage. We should use this after they buff their shields then. So they're hitting us for eight. Auto block six. Is that good enough? Eh, we can fully block it. Larger spaceship. I can't. Oh, there goes your gun, buddy. Oh wait, he hadn't put his shield up yet. Whoops. Enemy shields down. Allied shield down. I'm already noticing immediately I want more attack cards. Shielding enhanced. Your shield means nothing to me. Enemy shields down. Oh, I thought that literally ignored shields. I guess it doesn't. Is that not what the five with shield with an X in it means? Oh well. I can't kill him this turn, but he's not attacking me either. Quick Pulse. Deal 3 damage, minus 1 cooldown for the next attack played this turn. Auto Shield. Gain 4 then draw a shield card. 
Give me more damage. After we be breached the blockade, multiple ships tried to make a run to exit the system. To make with civilian vessels, the Stark and gunships break off pursuit and focus on the fleeing ships. Yeah. Are you an Alari from Mass Effect? You need to gather data on the most powerful gunships in the sector. All you need to do is send your combat logs, fight two elites. Press tab on your keyboard to freeze the equipment UI you hover over to inspect cards. Keep in mind you have to move a crew member to operate the launch bay if you pick a missile launcher. Ah. So if I move Lena Starling to the missile rack, we'll lose that conservation. I'm fine with that. We'll give it a go. Conflict zone, conflict zone, conflict zone. But if we want an elite... They're all over the place, actually. Although we can go backwards and forwards on yellow. Right. Let's go this way, then. Traversing Solari conflict zones is strictly prohibited to patrol moves to intercept. What gives them the right? Your ship looks like it's mid-transformation and it got stuck. Opening shot two to four, so he is going to change attacks as it goes on then, because this is just his opening gambit. Well, let's bung a shield on. Give you a quick little love tap on your shield systems. And fire a missile at you. Missile is in flight. Boom. He's still doing opening shot. We have two shield. Missile loader? Where does this come from? Add two Starfire, Star Flare missile cards to your draw pile. Let's see. Ah, we're going to buff our shields and zap you. And break your shields. Still doing opening shot. Presumably sooner or later it is going to change to an attack that's not an opening shot. My best bang for buck here. I can't get to five unless I play a card. Might as well do a missile loader. Four damage. Four damage. Actually, let's do a quick pulse. And try and do a bigger attack next turn on both cards. Oh, there we go. Oh no, he's taking a turn to reload. You fool! Oh, I still need the six to do a big hit. And if I spend three, I'm only getting three back. I wonder if I should just wait and do a big hit. I mean, I'm going to kill him either way. So he's doing two to four again. Shields up, Captain. Oops. He is already dead. Oh. Precision stuff you have to touch somewhere. 23 daily. Thank you. Hello, Mr. Conchu. It's been a while. I think you got gifted a sub the other day? Maybe? If I, I vaguely remember seeing your name. That's why you have the number one next to your name, currently. Well, that's because you're one of my first ever subs, but I mean, that's why you currently have a sub. Another patrol ship. Oh, this is larger guns. Okay. That's pretty nasty. Well, 
He is doing 2 to 4 damage this turn. I'm giving myself 2 of each resource. Captain. The cheer didn't work because of the comma, but either way, did I see the comedy that is the Months Under Wild recommended system requirements? I actually didn't, no. I presume that means there's something bad about them. Tell me more. This turn he is doing a ridiculous amount of damage. I've done all I can for my shield, which is 8. Well, actually, if he rolls low, so we're looking at a minimum of 7 and a maximum of, it's what, 16? Oh, God. Is that worth using some of these morale points? Yeah, I'm going to buff my shield to 12. Let me see here. Thank you for the the bits, they worked that time. Recommended specs, 60 frames, Windows 10, processor, an i5, or a Ryzen 5, 16 gig of memory, an RTX. I mean, that doesn't seem that bad to me. Only four, oh no. Wait, is that 140 gig of storage? Holy crap. I thought it was 14, I was like, that's way too small for a Monster Hunter game, but 140 is way too large! Wow! Okay, that's interesting. It is out February 28th, yeah, we called it, just saying. <laughs> Almost like we know our Monster Hunter games. Missiles, missiles. Didn't have any shield, so there was nothing I could do about the damage that got through, and then boom boom. And then you have four health, that's annoying. Uh, I can't kill you this turn then. But you're only hitting for zero, so haha! -ha! Imagine getting killed by a quick pulse. Oh, an ion missile. Deplete 12. Only damages shields, hull damage is converted to ionize. Every six ionize removes one pip from a random action. Intriguing. It also uses a different resource. It's also tempting. I'm going to try that actually. Let's, let's just try it. I was able to patch up the heels with a little bit of salvage. Well, oh, good. Disliked, allied. Let's go to the allied, see what happens. An unarmed free roamer civilian ship is being attacked and is requesting assistance. Sure. I think that, like the special edition is like a hundred and something, isn't it? Spread shot, two to five damage and destroys the closest enemy missile. So don't be launching a missile turn one. But what I could be doing is, uh, yep, zap that, and then zap that, and then take the two to five damage. The base game is ninety dollars. Wait, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. But we, we should be focusing on on breachway, breakaway, breachway. Said it right the first time, but I have to know. Oh yeah, the base price for One Hunter Wilds is £60. That is a... Uh, certainly a price, yeah. It's five months away. Deluxe Edition is £75, Premium Deluxe Edition is £90. Insane. Thank goodness everybody has lots of money right now. Anywho, spread shot again so I can't use missiles. Can destroy your heavy barrage. Is 
so that's going to be busted for two turns and you're reloading. Now is the time to blast you. Missile. More missiles. Uh, can't launch that. Wait, I can. I used a different resource. Ha ha! Target hit, Captain. Okay, so now you're ionized. Excellent. Still got 12 health left, though. That's quite a lot. Best bang for my buck here is quick pulse and another missile because you're not taking any out this turn. Yeah, they're trying to get away with that as a minimum lowjack. And it's working because people want the game and, and, you know, kids have disposable income in brackets, their parents' money. So they will pay that kind of stuff for COD and, and other things. Adults who are struggling to buy groceries, on the other hand, maybe not as quick to do that. Like, I wouldn't have played Space Marine had it not been gifted to me because I literally could not afford it. I should have thought that through. Well, well, didn't matter. He blew up anyway, but I knew if I'd paid attention I was going to disable that gun so there was no damage coming in, so I didn't need to waste resources on a shield. Hello, Prides. We didn't get anything for rescuing the... Hmm. Let's go waypoint neutral. You've been hailed for our maintenance ship. Sure. Oh, intimidate them into doing repairs for free. No, we don't need to do that. It's fine. Permission to report our scanners are picking up signs of combat up ahead. Okay. If we intervene in time, our only option is to fire on the attacking ship and draw its attention. Firing our weapons without initiating combat protocols first will leave our ship at a disadvantage in the upcoming fight. Uh, no. Sorry, I'm going to try and fight an elite though, that's dangerous. Uh, die. Or kill me. One of two things is going to happen. Spin up. Every time a chain burst is played, reduce the cooldown of chain burst by a turn. In 6 plus 1 for each fortify card. So, the only thing you're doing right now is spinning up. You're not defending against missiles. Have a missile on me. Might as well ionize you. I know these getting shields next turn, but... Chain Burst does 9 damage? Yeah, that's scarier. And it does heat damage too. So this turn he's only doing four on the dot. You are now shielded. I am. He, he doesn't seem to have missile defense, so let's do that and let's just bust this a bit more. One more hit and it'll actually break. He's given himself a bunch of shield this turn. And that's it. Missile. Missile. I cast missile. Take this. Enemy shield down. That was a good hit. This turn he is doing forward noise not, because I'm busting that. He is doing nothing. I should just save my resources then. This turn he's doing nine and shielding himself. Okay, no damage. The heat doesn't get through either. This turn he's doing nothing because it's repairing, but his shield's up, so I can't really do anything. Let's just lower his shield a little bit. 
His gun is back in unpog form. He's hitting for 13. And I have no shield, and I must scream. Let's have two of every resource. Enemy shields down. Blast him. Nice. Now he's only doing four. I'm still going to take damage, but not as bad. You're getting kind of you're flying drunk over there, man. This turn he is doing nothing, but he has a shield. Soften you up a little bit. Enemy shield down. Four damage. Uh, can I get you? No. He's hit for four. We're good. Wait, does that happen before his shield? No. Target reached, Captain. I still can't quite get you. Unless I use some crew points. No, even then, four, five, six, seven. No, I can't. Get him next turn. Goodbye. Hello, Mixter. Add a card, and then we have a bit of gear. Oh, a heat seeker. Deal six damage in one turn, plus six damage if the enemy is overheated at launch. Ooh. Actually, I'm going to take some auto shield there. If available in your draw pile, draw one card from this equipment in an empty card slot at the end of your turn. Available in your draw pile, draw one card from this equipment. What would I want? I wonder if that would be a way to force this even though it's not crude. Probably not. I feel like that's the kind of thing it would state. That is interesting. Because I'll put it on my shields. Disliked, allied. It's always uh, people being attacked. There's something to get like free repairs or something. Alright, turn one you're doing four damage and giving yourself ten shield. Well, let's bung on the old auto shield. Unfortunately that means my only other option is to shoot a missile at you. I don't know, it didn't tell me that, but I can check afterwards. He's not got any shield, but he's gonna give himself some. Did he not give himself some there? So I can get some damage in. He's hitting me for what? For, what is this? Three damage two times, so six damage. There goes your shield. Enemy shield down. Laser cooldown. Generator cooldown. Okay, you're doing nothing this turn. And I have a lot of attack I can do. What would I want to blast? I'm going to attack this. And then we're going to get you with that. And then we're going to get you with that. Aha! Four, but I can't play any shield, so that's kind of not an option. Let's hurt you a little bit and give myself some missiles. Got 
You are now shielded. You are now shielded. No, he wasn't attacking this turn. Oh, well. It's just a little missile. It's still good. It's still good. Enemy shields down. Shield gets taken out by missile again. Enemy shield down. Five. He's taking for four. Eh, I can take the two damage unless. Yeah, I can take the two damage. Because he is going to live. Not well, but he is living. Three health left. Goodbye. Level zero. Placeholder for actual crew cannot gain experience, has no abilities. But can it? Oh, it does move though, so presumably that does put the card into your deck. Okay. Alright, but we are nearing the end of the hour, so let me just go find the various details about Breachway, whether you're watching live or after the fact. Although if you're in the latter, it will be available. It's in early access. It is not done. Released on the 26th of September. I'm just checking to see if there's a roadmap. Uh, let's see. I don't see a roadmap, at least on the front page. But yeah, I've really liked it. There is a demo, it looks like. So if you want to try it for yourself, go ahead. And it is by... is this their first game? It is, damn. It works! It's fun! And it does play differently to Slave Aspire because of the way that it handles your cards refreshing. It isn't just drawing them out of the discard pile. And how it handles your energy generation as well. So yeah, I don't know about you a lot, but I liked playing that anyway. That was fun. And remember and check it out if you want to.